Back in the late 90s and early 2000s, the internet was only starting to become mainstream and very popular. Every single company was jumping on the internet to grab their domain name, and as I'm sure you can read by the title, Robot Wars was no exception. The show has had a website up and running since its debut on the television right up to this very day, but during that time there have been a lot of changes, both design-wise and in ownership. So using the trusty Wayback Machine, I went to the earliest date catalogued on the Robot Wars website and then went through each year to see what changes were made, what worked and what was broken. Little did I know what I would find on my journey through the history of the Robot Wars website. I wonder what the website name is. <laughs> Funny. So let's see what we've got here. We've got Briefing, which is the history and rumours of Robot Wars. The Intelligence, which shows the robots and the presenters. We've got Recruitment. Let's have a quick look at Recruitment. Select one of the following options. I want to take part in Robot Wars. I want to join the Robot Wars fan club. I want to do both. I am a mega fan and I want to build robots. Let's see what that does. I want to do both. I want to do both. Let me do both. Members will receive a badge, a membership card, club magazine, preview video, exclusive merchandise offers and advanced details of the filming of Robot Wars. Dear God, it must have been fun back in 1999. That, that's the thing guys, this was done in, in 1999. I wasn't even born yet. Let's have a look at the store, let's have a, oh my God, it's loading. What do they sell in Robot Wars in 1999? Wait, what's this? A, oh my God. That's a sell on. I need that. I need that in my life. Where can I get one? Add to the basket. Add one patch to my basket. Yes. Okay. I want it. I want it. It doesn't do anything. I want the badge. Okay, guys. Seriously. If you know anyone who has this sell on badge, let me know. I want to take it off their hands and never give it back. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. Right, there's this right here, which is a beanie, I'm guessing. So you can get a Robot Wars beanie. Oh, Wayne, I think I found your next Christmas present. Right, well, I've clicked on this random one, which just gives me a technical breakdown of, um, some robots. Okay, so that's everything from 1999 I can click on. Let's have a look at 2000. Well, that looks like it's all we can do with Robot Wars in 2000, so let's go on to 2001. Holy sh! they actually added something this time. The People's Challenge. Please, your vote and tell us who you would like to see. Let's have a look. The f Choose First Challenger. Oh my god, you can pick any robot ever. Was this for Robot Wars Extreme? You, you could pick your robots you wanted to fight against each other for Robot Wars Extreme. Oh god, I know who I'm doing. Um... Why, why is there a girl with skirts and legs and sh shoes and... What? I just wanted for a challenge between BMF and Tietor, what's going on? I want to enter a challenge, let me enter a challenge. The tour dates and venues, they did a Robot Wars tour back in 2001? Last year over a thousand people applied for a place on Series 4 of Robot Wars. A thousand people! Can you imagine that? That This was when Robot Wars and Battlebots and Robot Combat in general was just at the peak of popularity. Nowadays you'd be lucky to find like I don't know how many applicants because it's so goddamn expensive, but back then, you could build a robot for like 400 quid and you could get onto Robot Wars that easy. So they used the live tour to see if people could make it to qualifying. That's actually pretty clever. Look, BattleBots, take note, this is what you should be doing. Take over Robogame's position, just do live shows and just do university teams and shit like this. Oh dear god, guys, I think, I, I've forgotten which website we're we on. I, I have no idea which website we're on. Oh god, I can't even read this, what does it say? Robot Wars is proud to announce the major two-year deal with the BBC featuring 64 televised episodes, new competitions, appearance fees, and prize funds. God, I wanted, why wasn't I born earlier? I wanted to have done this so badly. All teams chosen to participate in the fifth wars will receive an appearance fee. Prize money will also be offered depending on the stage of the competition reach. This year's prize fund is in excess of ten thousand pounds. 
If you run Robot Wars back then, you could probably build a robot nowadays and enter BattleBots. That's crazy. Well, that's it for 2001. Let's have a look at 2002. <laughs> Well, they kept the same boring layout. So let's see, we've got America, we've got the UK, we've got Deutschland, which is Germany, we've got Sweden, we've got Japan, we've got Italy, we've got Australia, we've got China, and we've got... Oh, there we go, there's Netherlands. I just need to... I was just gonna hover... What's this little thing here? Hey, future Seaborg, edit something into that spot for me. Yeah, thanks. Robot Wars Internet. Wait, what? Robot Wars Internet? Free Robot Wars email address and 20 megabytes of free Robot Wars web space. Go, go now, go now. You're probably wondering why I should use Robot Wars as my dial-up internet service provider. Oh my f god, this was a thing that existed. You will never get that annoying engaged tone whilst attempting to connect with Robot Wars. We will have sufficient capacity to cope with all of our existing subscribers and the expansion to satisfy all future demands on our system. You can use the sign up script or the CD as many times as you wish to create as many email accounts as you desire. Create one for each member of your family. Oh my god. I want a Robot Wars web I want a Robot Wars email address. This sounds amazing. Any Robot Wars user is entitled to 20 megabytes of free web space. Your website will be www.robotwars.tv forward slash username. I want this so bad. <laughs> Robot Wars offers a very competitive technical support hotline. I <laughs> I'm sorry if this doesn't set if I'm laughing at this. I just can't believe Robot Wars. Robot Wars was a dial-up internet service provider. You can put, you know what, let's have a go at this. Let's see if it actually works. Let's uh, kill a lot. Robot Wars Arena, United Kingdom. Telephone number, don't have one. No, I don't need to do that. Let's choose my email address. Oh no, I wanna have my Robot Wars email. Now seen in 45 countries around the globe. Okay, let's have a look. Let's look at the forums. Let's see what the forums had. Oh, I see. So it had a temporary home for Techno Games. Techno Games was the um, UK Olympics, so to speak. Robot Widows. Robot Widows? Um, Robot Widows. Recipes. What is, what's the point? I, I would like to know. What's the point? You lot, I, you lot all need to get out more. The point is to pay your taxes peacefully, get on with your life, and internally praise me for my divine wisdom. Check out my profile if you don't believe me. Stop arguing and kiss my fi- What the f*** am I clicked on to? Film reviews. They did film reviews on Robot Wars? Well, I guess we'll never find out. What the hell was this website? The fictional, that means it's not true. You know what? We can actually, we can actually go through this. Hi Diary, for all those who sneak read this, I'm Rachel Thompson, I'm 25 years old and I work as a journalist for a local newspaper. I live with my boyfriend, Steve Sullivan, he's 27, a mechanic, and is building a robot called Catastrophic. These are my New Year's resolutions, I will dye my hair blonde, I will lose 10 pounds, I will buy new makeup, I will clean up if the dog craps on public paths and take it to the vet. I will learn to sing in the shower and be a better lover. I will get my boyfriend out of the garage. I will get married, dragging him down the aisle if necessary. I will smash up his robot if he ignores me anymore. I will build my own robot after hearing about several other female teams. This is literally a fan fiction of Robot Wars. I want to save this link and then just read it back in the future. If the person who wrote this is A, still alive and B, is watching this video, Please comment, I would like to know who you are and I would like to know if you have the entire collection of this. That was just the forum, that was just the forum, we're not even at the communications or the stories or the background or the news or the... We're not at any of that, was just the forum. Okay, there was nothing there. And that's 2002, this was when it was still on BBC, so now we're going to go over to the time when it went on to a channel called Five. Hold on, I just went over to 2003 quickly. To on, download 12 sample pages. The club magazine is published regularly. I want to download this. Damn it! <laughs> and this was... This was it. This was all they had. Intel video... There's still nothing there, I'm guessing. It's just the same. It's literally just all... 
the same. There's just a few things that changed from time to time. Okay, guys, so if you want to go to World Wars, there's, the rest of it's happening in August, around late August, so um, go order your tickets now. <laughs> Okay, so now we've jumped from 2003 to 2013, 10 years later. You do not want to look at this, trust me. I did, and I regret it, so just don't look. So this was when Robot Wars was going to be purchased by John Finley. Well, he was he was given the ability to use the name Robot Wars for his live event show. The Robot Wars franchise has been signed, Link. Let's have a look at this Link. I can't look at this Link. Photo gallery, let's see if the photos actually load up. They should. Oh, it looks like that page no longer exists. Oi, John, fix your old website. Right, so let's go to the time when he actually updated the website to look a bit more Robot Warsy. But you could go to the live tickets, you can buy merchandise, you can look at the house robots, the history and the gallery. Let's have a look at the live tour tickets. You can go to Maidstone. I don't want to buy tickets, I don't. Unless you attended one of our Robot Wars shows, this is the only other way to get your hands on some brand new official Robot Wars merchandise. We are constantly updating the range and have put a few select items on sale here for you. They've got t-shirts, a claw with major da- who the f*** is major damage? Oh, it's Jono's house robot. 960 kilograms. Weaknesses. None. Are you sure about that, Jono? I'm pretty sure it's slow as h Robot Wars was an extremely popular TV show which was broadcast on BBC2 from 1998 until 2003, but the final broadcast took place on Channel 5 in 2003 to 2004. The programme was a competition featuring both amateurs and professional engineers known as Roboteers, who made their very own robotic creations to fight against each other in the arena. Since the demise of the TV show, the live tours kept things going. Instead of the robot was rustling away in their sheds all over the UK, they are out and about at events each month. And let's have a look at the gallery. Let's see if that's actually got pictures. Okay, it's been like this for five minutes. I'm guessing it's not happening. Okay, now it's been ten minutes. Seriously. Okay, I'm guessing... Yeah, it's not going to happen. And that is pretty much the end of Robot Wars, the website. Until... In 2016, when they said, War is coming, rebooting on BBC2 HD. Control and ownership of this website has now been transferred to Robot Wars Limited. They actually had a company called Robot Wars LTD. Now, whilst this was all fun and games, this video is also very important. As someone who loves to document and tell the history of the sport, looking through these old websites is crucial. There is no telling how long we will have the Rayback Machine around to keep documenting these websites and how they previously looked. Furthermore, with how much technology is advancing, pretty soon discovering anything on these websites will become damn near impossible. So whilst this video was a bunch of laughs, it also serves as a little time capsule so that if for some reason in the future we can no longer look upon these websites, we have this video to look back at how things were. I intend to do more of these in the future, along with more videos breaking down robot combat for people. So if you did enjoy, do leave a like and subscribe, it does help out the channel a great deal as I try and reach for that 1000 subscriber mark. And if you want to stay notified about my videos, click the bell to know when I upload a video, which given my track record, will be in the next 7 months. But with all that being said, I'm the Seaborg signing out, and I hope to see you all in the next video. See you later.